plastic. It's been everywhere in fast fashion. It's been everywhere in luxury fashion. And is plastic in luxury fashion a luxury anymore? In recent years, plastic has become a ubiquitous material in the fashion industry, infiltrating both fast fashion and luxury fashion markets. However, the use of plastic in fashion has sparked a debate about its status as a luxury material and whether or not it's truly worth its price point. The use of plastic in fashion has been present for decades, with early examples dating back to the 1960s and 1970s, when synthetic materials such as polyester and nylon became popular. However, in recent years, the use of plastic in fashion has increased increased significantly and that is because there is a rise of fast fashion and there is a huge demand for inexpensive trendy items. Fast fashion brands use plastic extensively to create a wide range of products including clothing, accessories and footwear. The use of plastic allow these brands to produce items quickly and cheaply which in turn makes them more accessible to consumers. Additionally, luxury fashion brands have also begun incorporating plastic into their designs, often blending it with natural fibres to create high-end products that are durable and versatile. While the use of plastic in fashion is not a new phenomenon, it's a recent proliferation that has raised concern about its impact on the environment and the true value of luxury fashion. The use of plastics in luxury fashion is largely driven by economics. Fast fashion brands in particular rely on plastic to create inexpensive trendy items that can be produced quickly and sold at a low price point. The use of plastic allow these brands to keep their costs low which in turn makes their products more accessible to consumers. You would notice this from brands like Zara, H&M, Primark and especially Shein, as more have adopted their buying habits to buy cheaply and keep replacing rather than investing in quality items. This economic advantage comes at a significant environmental cost, as plastic production and disposal has a huge negative impact on the environment. The use of plastic in fashion has contributed to a global problem of microplastic pollution, and it's one of the most polluting industries industries, creating 10% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. Plastic in fashion pose harmful impacts in marine life and the environment, where if fashion items are made with plastic-based materials such as polyester and nylon, are then washed or worn, they shed tiny fibres known as microplastics. These fibres are so small that they cannot be filtered out by the wastewater management tanks, and they end up in our rivers and oceans, where they are then ingested by marine animals and ultimately enter the food chain. According to research, microplastics are present in almost every corner of the ocean. From the deep sea to the arctic ice, they have been found in a wide variety of marine animals, from tiny plankton to large whales, and can cause serious harm, including internal damage, reproductive issues, and death. In addition to harming marine life, microplastics also impact human health, as we may be exposed to them through the seafood we consume. They found microplastics in human blood for the very first time may lodge in organs may lodge in organ. The fashion industry is one of the biggest contributors to microplastic pollution as synthetic materials such as polyester and nylon are widely used in clothing and accessories. It is estimated that a single load of laundry can release up to 700,000 microplastic fibres into the environment. As the demand for fast fashion continues to grow, the problem with microplastic pollution is more likely to become more and more severe. To address this issue, many researchers and activists are calling to change the way we produce and also consume fashion. If you've got lots of polyester and acrylic in your wardrobe but you want to be more sustainable, I've got a hack for you. Over a third of the microplastic in the oceans come from synthetic fibers like polyester, acrylic, nylon, elastane, you name it. Ugh. This happens when you wash your clothes. Little microfibers get released, which then goes into the laundry water, which then eventually ends up in the ocean. Hack reveal, wash in cold water. There's evidence that shows that cold water helps to reduce the number of microfibers released, as well as washing on a shorter cycle. And of course, try to wash your clothes as little as possible and make them last as long as possible. Wear them till you look like this. When it comes to using plastic in luxury fashion, big name brands such as Chanel, LV, and Dior have also turned to using plastic in their production often blending it into natural fibres such as cotton, linen and silk. This trend can be seen in high-end clothing, accessories and even footwear. While plastic may seem like a really odd choice for luxury brands, it offers quite a few benefits too, including durability and versatility. Many luxury items are meant to at least last a lifetime and plastic can help ensure that they do. So plastic in fashion is not all that bad. There are actually some benefits of using synthetic fibres over natural fibres. 
First of all, it's cheaper. Most natural fibres can be incredibly expensive, especially in the pure form, and synthetic fibres provide cheaper alternatives to the natural products. Many synthetic fabrics are imitation version of natural fabrics like wool and silk. Second, and this one's one of my favourites, is that it's stain resistant. Synthetic fabrics tend to be more stain resistant and some are even designed to resist staining, which make them great for daily and regular wear. And third, they can be waterproof or water resistant. While some natural Natural fibers can resist water. Synthetic fibers can be designed to be almost completely waterproof, which makes them great for outdoor and rain gear. Another key example of this conversation is about a recent controversy about the plastic that was used in making a vintage Chanel bag. And this was deconstructed by the Instagrammer slash TikToker slash also YouTuber called Tana Leatherstein. While the external leather of the bag was genuine, the inner lining was made of polyurethane or PU leather, which is a type of plastic. The discovery sparked a debate about the value of luxury bags and whether or not they are worth the price point. On one hand, there is an argument that that luxury goods should be made of the best and high quality materials, such as using genuine leather throughout the whole bag. This argument is rooted in the idea that luxury goods should be crafted with care and that consumers are paying the premium for the level of craftsmanship. However, there is the counter argument that plastic linings in bags can be practical and that it was intentionally put in there because it's easier to clean and maintain the items. And in particular, if you have any spills or leaks that happen in your bag, you can easily wipe a PU leather clean compared to a leather lined bag. And now let's come back to you on what your thoughts are and especially on the thoughts of a vintage Chanel bag where you have the best quality in a lot of people's opinions whether you have the 24 karat gold, the beautiful lambskin leather yet when they use plastic in their inner linings do you think this is purposely done? Which it probably is and what are your thoughts of owning a fashion piece from a luxury house that has plastic in it? And also what do you think about the deconstruction by Tana Leatherstein? Ultimately the topic about plastic in luxury fashion is a complex one and there is no clear answer. While plastic may offer practical benefits in terms of durability and versatility, its environmental impact is significant. Personally, I don't mind whether we have plastic or not in our fashion pieces, especially in luxury fashion as well. And also my deeper thoughts about saving the planet is that it's not actually about saving the planet but rather saving humanity. And that is a whole nother rabbit hole that we can deep dive into. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And remember, let's reach to as many people out there who want to share a safe space to open up and join our heart to heart conversation. See you in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, then check out my next video about the gorgeous Zoe on TikTok that was actually mocked for calling a Charles and Keith bag a luxury which brings the question, what makes a luxury a luxury? So click over here and I will see you there. Bye.